With all humility, in high school, most of the guys on the team, including myself, were quote unquote the man on their high school team. Um, but you get into college and you start realizing that people are just as big, just as fast, just as strong, just as athletic as you. And you kind of struggle to find your place and your role amongst them because in high school you knew what it was. It was sports and that's what it was. But once you get to college, you know, that identity has almost been taken away from you. And so I really struggled to find my footing and uh, who I was on campus and who I wanted to be in college. Good for a while, you know, I thought this is what I wanted to do. I got to college and I thought, hey, I'm gonna be the biggest partier, the biggest drinker that I can be. And as the semester and the years went on, uh, it just slowly started to just implode on itself. And I would go through the week, basically just living for the weekend. So I was getting no day-to-day -day pleasure and just being, you know, alive on campus. But as soon as the Lord started working in my heart, it was a slow and pretty painful process with a lot of pushing from a, our missionaries, thanks be to God. And just bit by bit, you know, we started to cut out the drinking, started to cut out the partying, I and mean, everything else that goes along with being a typical college athlete. And as he did that, he started to show me that this is the way that I want you to live, and he gave me great comfort in that. I started seeing that what they were talking about in Bible study was things I could relate to my life, and okay, this is, I'm doing this, and this is why I'm unhappy. And they were talking straight to my heart and exactly what I was feeling with um, being caught up in that that athletic world. And once I started to put those together and thought, okay, this is something that definitely I need to look into more, that's when more of the emotional and the, the real spiritual connection with God came in. You know, as you start increasing your spiritual life, uh, you gotta decrease somewhere. And for me, it was the social life. And you, some of the guys in the locker room look at you a little differently. They met you and they grew to know you as that kid who came in freshman year, um, ready to party and ready to do the whole college experience. And as you start to change, there's some tension there. Guys start looking at you a little differently and kind of wondering what's going on. But at the same time, that's a great platform and a great launching point for me to start sharing you know, the message that's been given to me. Once you start giving it up for God and living for God and playing for God, it'll manifest in your play tenfold. Um, it just gives you something even higher to play for than yourself, than your teammates, and your loved ones. And it'll really bring out the best in what you got. Twins to the right this time, Earl to throw. Rolling out to the right. He will throw long. He's got Meyer, and Meyer's got it! What a play! First and ten for South Dakota at the 48-yard line.